this is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from AMO India 2022 at FIKI. And uh, we are just taking a round of the exhibits. And here we have with us a name which is very familiar to all of us, Mr. C.V. Subramaniam, who is the president of Russia Metal Industries. Welcome, Mr. Subramaniam, to ADU's chat room. And we really want to understand what is Russia Metal Industries showcasing here at this event. Thank you, Sangeeta ji, for this opportunity. Uh, we are a 75-year-old uh, company uh, based out of Mumbai. And we have our plant located in uh, Gujarat, in uh, very close to Wapi, in a place called Sariga. And uh, we have been in the business of copper and copper alloys for more than 75 years now. And we forayed into the defense business by starting to supply brass strips to the Indian ordnance factories for uh, manufacturers manufacturing of uh, brass cups for small arm ammunition. That was the beginning of this company way back, more than 30-40 years back. This company belongs to uh, Mr. Balkrishna Binani and his family and they have been in this copper business since the beginning. So, uh, about 25 to 30 years back, uh, we forayed into the business of manufacturers of cups which is the prime uh, raw material required for manufacturers of uh, bullets. So we uh, started supplying to the Indian ordnance factories, but uh, since uh, the ordnance factories created their own capacities, we had to uh, go out of the country and start exporting our products across the globe to each and every country in the world, like we supply to Middle East, we supply to Far East Asia, we supply to the US, we supply to Israel. You know, we have been supplying throughout the world uh, because the Indian Ordnance Factory said they have their own capacity to manufacture uh, these bullet cups for their own ammunition purposes. So that forced us to go out to the country and start supplying these cups uh, at the international uh, players. And uh, that we have been very successful. And I'm very happy to tell you that for the year ending March 2022, the company ended with a turnover of 530 crores. Out of that, our exports of these cups were almost uh, 200 crores. And we have been getting precious foreign exchange for the country by exporting these cups. And this is to how many countries, sir? This uh, we have been uh, supplying to the entire Middle East. We are very strong in the Middle East, we are strong in Southeast Asia. We are also supplying to the US, we are supplying to Israel. We also started supplying to Europe in a sl small way. Now that uh, the, there are a lot of Indian companies which are coming up uh, in India for manufacture of ammunition, especially the small arm ammunition. So we are hoping that uh, our uh, production capacity will go up. We are already uh, at around 400 tons per month of capacity as of now and we are enhancing it around 650 tons by September as our uh, uh, capacity expansion is of cards and uh, the machines have arrived and it has been commissioned. Trial runs are going on so we are expecting to uh, touch a capacity of 600, 650 tons by September so that we can also cater to the local uh, ammunition manufacturers who are coming up like Adani and others. You know, we are already in discussion with them. Uh, we are also in discussion with uh, Munitions India Limited because now that they have been privatized, they can buy directly from the private players. So uh, we have been trying to get some orders for ammunition and uh, giving it to uh, Munitions India so that you know we will supply the cups and they will manufacture the bullets out of that and supply to the international customers. So this is also something we are very seriously working on. Right. And sir, here at uh, Ammo India, there is also a scope, there are a lot of companies which have also come from abroad. So there is a scope for an export market. Do you see one and do you, have you uh, got some interactions planned here for the next two days? Yeah, for the next two days we are definitely very eager to meet some of the foreign, because uh, we saw some of the foreign uh, defense attaches uh, you know, visiting the exhibition. So we hope to uh, get into the new uh, areas of uh, Business, uh, by supplying to countries where we are not done. Like Europe has been uh, a place where we have uh, not been very strong. So we are uh, looking at breakthrough to get into the 
at least the Eastern Europe, where the requirements are very really quite So you know, so we uh, the best advantage of our company is that we manufacture cups up to NATO standards as well as to the Russian standards. So you know, we do uh, like 12.7 into 108, which is a Russian standard. We also make that 12.7 which is NATO standards. We also manufacture those cups. So we cater to the entire world. So like we have been supplying to Ukraine, you know, the Russian caliber uh, 12.7. So we are there, uh, we can uh, give any of these type of... Uh, and has this uh, war in uh, Ukraine uh, added on to your business? Has it, uh, the demand has surged post the war? Not much right now. Right now I, been, uh, I believe that the old arsenal which has been lying there with the countries have been, been used. Uh, once that means uh, this gets uh, 50 percent exhausted, they will start procuring more. So we are expecting a surge in the business in the coming months. Might be by the end of the year, uh, 2022, we are expecting a surge in the requirement. Because now, uh, you know, people have to again refill their arsenal with uh, uh, ammunition. So I believe that the demand will surge. And <coughs> looking for exciting times ahead. Thank you very much, sir. That was wonderful speaking with you and uh, hope, hope you know, that uh, your business keeps expanding both within the country and, uh, you know, externally. You get a good export market and the next time we meet, you have a longer story to tell us. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Sangeeta Ji. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you.